If you're my regular viewer, then you know the relationship between me and Microsoft Edge. Yeah, we don't like each other. Maybe I'm the only one who doesn't like Microsoft Edge. Maybe Edge likes me. I've also done a video on why I don't use Edge and all that. You can look up for those videos if you're interested. But guess what? I actually like Microsoft Edge now because of the one specific feature. This feature is brand new. Now it's also available in stable version of Microsoft Edge. I've also talked about this before. So this is for the gamers. If you're a gamer, like you need this feature. This is like must have feature if you're a gamer plus streamer. If you're a streamer, yeah, it makes your life like 100 times better and easier and all that. Open up the Microsoft Edge and then go into settings uh, by clicking on these three dots menu at the top right side. And here you'll see the settings and just go into the settings and here search for game assist. OK just scroll down a little bit and you'll see this option game assist preview this thing is still in preview but again as i said this thing is now available in stable version of microsoft edge uh, just install it for me it says open because i have already installed it so you don't have to open this you just close the microsoft edge now you have to use xbox game bar to access this so Click on Windows and G key together, and then you'll see the Xbox Game Bar, which looks something like this. Now, here you'll see a new icon, which says Game Assist that we just enabled. Now, you can open this, and here you'll see a Microsoft Edge web browser, and you can browse the internet. Wow, KB, that's, that's amazing. That's just the web browser. What is so cool about this? This is useless. No, this thing is actually really useful and amazing if you are a gamer again this thing is just insane for gamers <clears throat> now let's just say i'm playing minecraft now i need to browse the internet what do i do i need to minimize the game obviously that's that's what we have to do right if you have a dual monitor yeah you can uh, pull out this menu maybe yeah this menu and then go into the second monitor and browse the internet and all that but once you have this feature what you can do is press the Windows plus G key, which will bring the uh, game bar and then open the game assist. Now you can see you can browse the Internet without leaving the game. Yeah, you can also pin it if you want to like that. And now that browser thingy will not disappear while you're playing the game. You can watch video or whatever you're trying to do, maybe chatting with AI like chat GPT or something asking about the game and you know you can play along like if you don't understand something like how to uh, kill the dragon you can ask the AI you know there are many ideas in my head I'm just spitting that out I'm actually not doing that maybe I'll do it I don't know but this is just insane okay it stays at the top now guess what let's say you're a streamer gamer you want this feature but you don't want other people to see this window you can do some settings in obs studio to make this visible only to you not to the viewers actually let me show you guys say for example i want to do a game capture display capture however you record your uh, game uh, let's do a game capture now we can see it only captures the game even though we have this uh, uh, web browser opened game assist it doesn't capture yeah that's that so you can do the same thing with display capture okay you just need to change a few settings here. Go from automatic to DXGI. Okay, let's say for example this one. Okay, you can see it can't capture that. <laughs> so this can be really, really useful. And I have pinned it right here. You can see. Okay, let me go full screen. Now you, you got the idea. All right. So, oh, Wolfie. No, no, I, that was an accident. Now, while you're gaming, you can watch the game. Oh, he's, he's going to kill me. I mean, watch the video or chat with ChatGPT about the game. Ask anything. You can, you can do so much with it while you're gaming. It also detects what game you're playing. And based on that, it will show you the articles and videos about that game. Okay. So this is simply like... I don't know what to say. I feel like this is a feature that every gamer needs to know. Okay? Every gamer streamer needs to know. You can have multiple websites here bookmarked. Like uh, you can see there is the Spotify, uh, Discord, uh, Twitch. You can add more. Okay. So you can like this thing is like 
really good. Another best thing about this feature, Game Assist feature of Microsoft Edge, is that it works with any game, unlike Steam Overlay. Steam also has this feature called Steam Overlay, and uh, there is this web browser thingy too that opens, but this thing doesn't work with non-Steam games. Uh, maybe you can add non-Steam games to the Steam and then it will work, but I've tried this with uh, yeah, Minecraft and it didn't work. <laughs> and Steam browser isn't as powerful as the uh, Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is more powerful. You can open any website without any issues. It works really well. Okay. Again, as I said, this thing works anywhere, even when you're on desktop. This is simply the best thing Microsoft have added for the gamers. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I love it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Now, since I'm using this feature whenever I'm gaming, I think I need to fix the Microsoft Edge. Again, as I said, you know the relationship between me and Microsoft Edge? We don't work together, but now we, since we have to, I think I'm gonna debloat the Microsoft Edge. I think I saw debloat Microsoft Edge option in this tool. This is a really popular tool. That's, I think everybody knows about this at this point. So I'm gonna run this and let's see what we can do with the Microsoft Edge. And hopefully it keeps the game assist feature after debloating it. Oh yeah, here, yeah. I found it, debloat Edge. Oh, <laughs> where you go. Okay, so what it's gonna do is, actually I have to read this, what it's going to do. I actually debloat Microsoft Edge and run the tweaks. Now it, it should slim down a little bit for the game assist feature alone. Hey, I don't know what it did, but it looks like it has debloated. It feels snappier for some reason. Okay. Yeah, it, it is opening really fast. Okay. okay, this is what they changed. Okay, I like this. Now let's check on the game assist. Game assist. Yeah, looks snappier. I need to test this a bit longer, then I'll know if uh, if it did anything. So this is going to be the only reason why I'm gonna keep Microsoft Edge and I'm gonna actually use it while gaming. This is like whenever I'm gaming, you know, let's say I'm playing some FPS game or something. When I die, I open the web browser and watch something. Uh, and I have to minimize the game or I have to, you know, at least get out of the game. <laughs> But now I can have an overlay and I can just have this opened here. And whenever I press that, you know, whatever I'm watching or doing, it will show up on top of the game. I don't have to repeat myself, right? <laughs> I'm being honest here. Yeah, this is uh, one of the best features they have added in Microsoft Edge, in my opinion. Yeah, this is actually a really good feature and I like it. And I know some people are gonna say it's same as the Steam, what's the difference? Let me tell you something. It's way better than Steam, plus it works with any game. It doesn't have to be a Steam game only, okay? It works even on your desktop. So it works with any game without any issues, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.